Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Miss Day. So today we're gonna to talk about blending with acrylic paints. And I've got my tray set up here. Um, I've got a magenta, light cadmium yellow, and a cobalt blue. Um, and we're gonna do some experimenting here. So the first thing that um, we're going to do is I've mixed a lot of water. So you can see here, I put water next to the paint and I've mixed a lot of water in with this paint. And um, in order to create my spectrum here with the blend, I'm going to paint some of this magenta on. I'm just going to get a dot of water and just to thin it out. And we'll see what that does once it dries. On this one, I'm going to try to create kind of like the um, same way we did a gradation with watercolor. Um, although it's, I don't have a lot of space and it's not as um, drastic as I thought it would be. So this down here, I'm just going to do a wet into wet. So that means I'm going to mix this while it's still wet. So I just put in the magenta cleaned off my brush. I'm picking up the yellow. I'm going to put in the yellow and I'm going to head back over into the magenta. So you can see there it does change the color. I've already got a brush with the blue. I'm going to put the blue down and I'll run into the yellow a little bit. And there we go. So for this particular technique up here, I'm trying to let it dry completely before I put the next layer in. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and put the blue and I'll add that drop of water. Try to get it really light through there. I like for it to be darker over here. So we'll come back and once it dries and put the yellow on top and see what that what that's going to look like. Okay, um, for the monochromatic value scales, um, I want you to create a monochromatic value scale with these different uh, red, yellow, and blue. You could do another one of your choice. I already have the blue brush in my hand, so I'll go ahead and do a blue. Um, the, so the actual color is going to go in the middle and then you're going to want to mix a little bit of white and a little bit of black uh, to create your other steps. So for example, here I'm going to move the camera a tiny bit. I'm going to pull a little bit of this blue over here because I don't want to contaminate my blue. I'm going to wash the brush. Okay, I'm going to get a little dot of white. Okay, and I'm going to mix it in with this blue. So it's going to be lighter, but not quite as... Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more white. Mix it with that same blue. Try to get it noticeably different. There we go. Paint that here. A little bit more white. And then the last one, just white. Okay, now I've got to go the opposite uh, direction. So I need to get some blue. And move it over here with the black and of course you're gonna see that it does not take a lot of black at all to get it to change and again I'm trying to work fast because I'm doing this um, the wet into wet technique so um, you know watercolor I mean excuse me acrylic has a tendency to dry very fast so I'm adding a lot of water to it um, to try to keep it 
wet for longer. I'm going to add a little bit of black and mix it in. Just a tiny, tiny dot of black. It does not take very much and you'll be able to tell. Another dot. A little bit more. A little bit more. And the, the last one you can just put put a little black right there. Okay, so let's do the same thing with the red and then the same thing with the yellow. Let me see if I can scoot this up a tiny bit. And I kind of want to clean this edge up down here a little bit. Let's see if I can clean this up. I'm just going to wet it like I, I would with a watercolor to kind of lighten it. And then I'm going to use, uh, in this case, I'm just going to use a, t a little towel I have here to lighten it, to lift it up. All right, so let's do the same process with the yellow. So I'm gonna get my clean brush. And I'm gonna do yellow right in the middle. This is about the middle right here. And then remember, you're going to come over and get some white and some black. I'm going to clean my brush again because I don't want to contaminate my yellow um, or my black and my white paint. So here's some black. All right, so I've got yellow here. I'm going to move over. A little bit of black. It was just a tiny bit of black. I'm going to go this side. A little bit more black. On this side. A little bit more. This side. A little bit more. And then on the very end, I'm just going to do black on the very end. I'm going to clean off this tray. It's best to have a paper towel right on hand. When you're working with acrylics, I always have a paper towel nearby. So I just don't want this to contaminate my other color, so I'm just going to wipe it off the tray. Okay, so now I'm going to be working with the white. So I'm going to pull some white over here with my yellow. All right, so a little bit of white, just a little bit with the yellow, and it'll come on this side. A little bit more white. A little bit more. And then that last section, you can just do a little bit of white if you want to do that. trusty paper towel nearby and here's my white okay and let's do the red oh 
got my red here or magenta really okay I added some water to it and I'm stirring it up mixing it up with the water okay I'm gonna go right in the middle okay so I've already got some black pulled out here so I'll just use this black so a little bit of black and that's gonna go right here to the right so pretty a little bit more black a little bit more Ooh. and then let's do black on the end there all right now let's go back the other way I am gonna wipe this out of my tray though because I don't want that to get mixed in so I'm just gonna wipe that little bit of paint off this is just a big flat uh, tray that I use actually for like fruit and stuff but um, today it's being used for art so I don't know if it'll ever go back to fruit all right so I'm gonna pull my magenta over here kind of away so it doesn't get contaminated I'm gonna clean my brush I'm gonna come over here and get some white okay so I'm going to mix just a tiny dot of white in with my magenta. Okay, just for, so it's a dark, getting light. A little bit more white. A little bit more white. And then of course that last one can just be just be white so this is watercolor paper um, I'm seeing it's doing some interesting things with um, the brush this particular brush um, it's just interesting something to notice Ooh, let's look back up here and see what um, our glaze area is looking like and I'm gonna wipe this out I don't want to get that contaminated okay clean my brush so I'm putting some water into the paint I have a really really wet brush mixing it into the paint and I'm gonna see if I can put a glaze on top of these up here we'll see it looks like that might still be let me see. Okay, I'll just lift those few drops out. All right, let's see what it looks like. So, this is a glaze as opposed to blending it in while everything's wet. This is if you let it dry. Yeah, it still looks pretty nice. Alright, so this has been uh, blending. We made a spectrum by using the wet into wet. So we went ahead and, and, and painted while the paints were wet and let them run together to mix. This one we did a water glaze, so we added a lot of water to the paint, um, let the layers dry, and then painted over it to get the um, color to mix. And then this down here was we were mixing value scales monochromatic value scales by starting with the pure color in the middle and adding a little bit of black as we went to the right pure color in the middle a little bit of white as we went to the left all right good luck on your exercises